warmth at last. Marvelous, isn't it? All thanks to the resourceful machinists of Ishgard, I might add. On their behalf, I bid you warm yourself to your heart's content. Hold on. Your people might have scribbled a few things on a piece of parchment, but it was our Lamincen Smiths that put the bloody things together. Well, be that as it may, we single-handedly got the interior heating up and running again, didn't we? The hells you did! We were there every step of the way! We? You barely raised a finger to help, you ale-sodden reprobate! I did a damn sight more than you, you lily-livered bilge rat! Take that back! Make me. I will not stoop to your level! Here. At ease, man. There's nothing funny in it. I'm from Alamigo, but was a conscript until recently. Used to eat this with the officers. Apparently, it's adapted from a step recipe. This is my first time trying it, and I have to say, it's not half bad. Mmm. It's what a bit too did these people get here? for my liking. <laughs> Perhaps compared to what you're used to. The little things that make life worth living, don't you think? I know this is not a dream, and yet... Happy moment. How long will it last? I felt the same way at the Dragon Song War's end. Every morning I would step outside and need to be reminded that it wasn't my imagination. That my world had been forever changed. And just as I had grown accustomed to the idea, again, you change my world in ways I never thought possible. Were it not for you and your fellow scions, the rifts between man and dragon and myriad tribes might never have been bridged. The grand company of Eorzea the Ilsebad contingent. We owe it all to you. We've shed many tears in recent days of pain and sorrow, triumph and joy. I much prefer the latter. I am honored to fight by your side. As an Eorzean and Galian both, I shall do all in my power to bring my peoples together.
It is a remarkable achievement. Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. Indeed. Too many are not here to see it. And yet, there is a warmth in my breast, as if they still share in this moment. Yes, I know what you mean. On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass me by. Oh shit, there it is. I'm surprised that thing's still in such good shape. Oh, we can hear. We just, we just had a happy moment. Now they are being tempered. The talismans, quickly! Save me, brave hero! Oh, you motherfucker! <clears throat> My lord has requested your presence, and I would hate to disappoint him. Ah, shit! Okay. It's getting the wild. The experiment was a success, but I fear our time is short. Hello? I shall begin the preparations. I don't like the way that that sounds, man. Now, it is time for you to awaken. Oh, okay. That looks not, uh, okay. Good morrow to you. Oh. Here. Have a taste before it gets cold. Oh, but be sure to remove your helmet. Take a moment, too, to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. Excuse me? What? So, how does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new body to be most refreshing. We had a Magitech engineer Excuse by me? the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. I don't remember His that. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his mind jack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteemed test subject. Come now, to us Asians, it is no different from trying on new clothes. 
Why not make the most of it by partaking in this fine cuisine? Uh. I must say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods, I suggested inviting you over for dinner. He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence as a resounding yes. Uh, this shit's so wild. Oh my! Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. What? Are you... My body? Please? Ah, Don't. Exposition is in order. The Garlean Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. But people being people must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Why, his radiance, the Emperor, of course. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solasos Galvis, dead. Provinces near and far, in open rebellion. Our bold new emperor assassinated. And that last one even sparked a civil war. What rotten luck. What am I looking at? The people cried out for salvation. Their earnest pleas, one might even call them prayers. A supplication united for the empire to reclaim her former glory. And so their will did manifest, channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. And lo, the savior was born, the embodiment of the Garlean spirit, their anima. What? It calls to its subjects, compelling them to take up arms and fight. And just as the wealth and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital, so too does ether from every corner of the globe. The towers with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of anima itself. An ingenious design. We do not agree, my lord. Oh, he ain't gonna say anything. He not feeling it. Does the pursuit oh. of prey you have bested before excite you? Of course not. Absent the challenge, the thrill. Your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. Perhaps you think that to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamigo. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you. Deprive us of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. I have been honing my craft as I set the stage for our reunion. Yeah, but you changed classes, didn't you? You went from a samurai to a reaper? You have to be a noob right now. Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star.
The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. What? I didn't ask for this. I, uh, mm. At a loss for words? No matter. As you will learn, I have only just begun. Oh, will you not finish your meal? There is only one thing that can sate my hunger, and it would seem my friend has lost his appetite. Yeah, I don't have my body, man. I hoped this display of civility might prove an entertaining diversion, but clearly we are above such pretensions. You'll give me my body back, we'll fight right now. While my lifeless body was in the possession of the Asian, I too claimed another's as my own. Yeah, I remember that. It was an enlightening experience to fight in an unfamiliar form. Flaws and failings in my technique were plain to see. Oh man. Whence rises Don't make me do this. True strength. The flesh? The soul? Perhaps you should like to discover the answer for yourself. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's me. Hello. All together. No, whoa, no, no. Uh uh. Nah. I like where this is going, man. Yeah, can we not? That's that's mine. This is my body. But okay. Oh dear! Whatever would happen if my lord were to greet your friends as you? I shudder to imagine what carnage he would wreak. Oh. Uh. This is not ideal. We'd better hurry if we want to avert the bloodbath. You can thank me later for my generosity. 